It's time then for the final of the Suzuki Swifts out there on track ahead of round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Ready to race board is on then. The Junior Rallycross Championship final here. About to get underway. Lights out and we go green. Good start then off the front row for Max Langmate. Side by side as well as they come down in towards the first corner with uh, the number uh, 10 of Watt then. So uh, Watt, the 110 of Watt is in second position with Max Langmate now leading the way. So good start then from those drivers as they make their way through into the series of S Benz followed by the rest of the field as they come through. Looks like Finley Scott got away pretty well. He's up into fourth position and a bit of argy-bargy taking place a bit further back but it's Max Langmaid who continues his impressive form so far here today in Pembrey. He's looked very close out there on track with the rest of the field. And look at Owen Robbins now up the inside of the 110 of Max Watt. Down the inside he goes through into the hairpin of Brooklands then. And it's now Owen Robbins who's through into second position. So Lang made from Robbins from Max Watt. And now potentially Finley Scott ready to try and challenge the 110 of Watt who's uh, on a bit of a losing streak at the end then of this first lap as they come down in towards the first corner. And a spin there as well in the background for Max Watt. So his race goes from bad to worse. That was very close on the rejoin there as well nearly coming into contact with another competitor fortunately just about able to keep it on the straight and narrow and out of harm's way looks like it was uh, Caitlin May I believe who was going through there as uh, the rest of the field continues on and problems there for uh, Finley Scott as he slows up I wonder uh, why that exactly is whether he's got a mechanical problem with his car there's the number 81 of uh, Hawks there as well. As uh, he comes through, James Hawks there with uh, not a brilliant race there so far for him. Max Langmaid continues leading the way out in this race then. As he comes to start that second lap, followed by Owen Robbins. Then it's Caitlin May who's now inherited third position. And she is now ahead then of uh, Finley Scott. Scott goes Joker and also going uh, in towards the Joker. Sorry, uh, I said say Scott goes Joker. Scott continues on as uh, the 110 of Max Watt goes Joker at the start of this second lap then. Finley Scott through the left-hander. Down the back straight we go. And a problem there for Corey Padgett who has stopped out on track. The number 326 has not gone well at all for him in any way, shape or form. And he has stopped out on circuit. And I wonder if he can't get that car moved, whether we may see a red flag to proceedings. The car's kind of creeping, but it is stuck then, crucially, on the racing line. Let's hope he can get it going as he comes through. He's just able to get it off there, and you can see the rest of the field able to go past. So Max Langmaid able to make his way through, but there will be yellow flags waved at that part of the lap, and that's not good at all. And you can see that, yeah, the marshal there waving the yellow flag, so no overtaking in towards that section. Corey Padgett just able to get the car moving and able to get the car going but either way it's a sad end to an otherwise promising race for the number 326 no such problems though for Max Langmay behind the wheel of the number 15 who leads the way coming down the back straight in towards the hairpin bend that comes the red and black machine followed by Owen Robbins then it's Caitlin May with Finley Scott the green the, the yellow machine for company behind Number 16 of Vitsela, the Latvian driver, Laura Vitsela, the uh, sister, we believe, to Robert Spittles, who competes, of course, or has been competing in the supercar category here this weekend. And Corey Padgett there just getting himself off the racing line, but, well, not ideal at all there for him. That car looks like it'll have to be recovered before the end of this race. Already on lap four we are, and Max Lehmann looks like he's going to try and continue his clean sweep in the Junior Rallycross Championship so far here this weekend for round number three because he has been super impressive out there on track so far here today. Caitlin May there in the podium positions as it stands here. Owen Robbins, a great job for him in the number 927. Let's not forget he was the driver who ended up on his roof in the first round of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship at Lydon Hill. Spectacular start to the weekend that he had. It wasn't good for him in any way, shape or form, but uh, either way, he's doing a brilliant job out there to hold on to second position. 
with Finley Scott now into third place ahead of Caitlin May on this penultimate lap. So very nice stuff there indeed from those drivers. Max Langmaid though continuing on down the back straight in towards the Brooklyn Terpin we go once more. Finley Scott behind the wheel of the 226 machine now looks like he's on for a podium finish if he can continue this run of form over the course of the race. Let's see whether he is going to be able to do so as he comes through in towards the left hander. But it's Langmaid that has the advantage then. Coming on to start the final lap in the Junior Rallycross Championship from the number 97 of Owen Robbins then. Going joker then on the final lap is Max Langmaid. Robbins then will emerge out on track as well after the joker. Surely ahead of Finley Scott who, yeah, of course, because Scott has not made his joker so far then in this race. So Langmaid behind the wheel of the number 15 leads the way and it's been a brilliant race for him so far, brilliant weekend so far in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the junior category for Max Langmaid. He has looked calm, comfortable and controlled throughout the entirety of it. A shame for Max Watt, he'll be disappointed with that. But look at this battle going on on the final lap between uh, Finley Scott and Caitlin May. Those two running nose to tail as they come in towards the final bend. Over the timeline comes Max Langmay to take the chequered flag. And it's very close indeed for fourth position as well. Owen Robbins comes home second. Finley Scott, though, I think, is going to finish ahead of Caitlin May. He is in... Uh, so Caitlin May does finish ahead of Finley Scott, according to my timing screen here. So May finishes on the podium in the final for the Junior Rallycross Championship. So it's Max Langmaid from Owen Robbins, from Caitlin May, from Finley Scott, from Max Watts, from Tristan Avenden, from Vitola, from Hawks, from Corey Paget, of course, who didn't make the chequered flag at the end of that one, owing to some mechanical dramas by the looks of things for that 326. So that car is going to have to be recovered before we can get racing action to continue.